Welcome back in and happy Friday. The day started off with sunshine, but a few more clouds starting to roll on in. That's our look from downtown Toledo, a sign that some pop up downpours are developing mainly east and north of the metro. That is where we are seeing some rain and thunder as well in that circled region. A lot of that rain is over the lake right now, but some of our lakeshore counties also getting doused with some downpours. Right now it is raining heavily at Kelly's Island up towards Putin Bay with the heaviest rain now moving off to the east of Putin Bay. Over the mainland, we are still seeing some rain showers near Sandusky and also a bit further to the south. There is Bellevue, the heaviest rain just to the north and northeast of Bellevue and Clyde. Looking a bit further to the west of that, Fremont was seeing rain earlier. Oak Harbor, the heaviest rain has now passed your area off to the east. Now you'll notice behind those downpours, dry weather conditions. In fact, those of you west of Toledo and say Fulton County and Henry County likely seeing the return of some sunshine. Most of the thunderstorm activity is going to occur along this warm front that is lifted in and is now pushing across southeastern Michigan. I am watching for a few more pop ups behind that front, but it is likely that much of the evening is going to feature dry weather. Here's the hour by our forecast. This is 9 PM. You'll notice majority of Northwest Ohio totally dry. By that point in time, the warm front is going to be up near Detroit, and that's where the focal point for thunderstorm development is going to be hour by hour. Again, those heavier thunderstorms from Detroit over towards Cleveland right along that warm front, but the front has already cleared the state line, so I expect most of you to stay dry, but a couple isolated pop ups may be possible. Let's look ahead to Saturday. When you wake up, it's going to be very humid due to that warm front. By the afternoon, we could see a couple more showers and thunderstorms as this cold front moves on through. It'll be coming from the northwest and could spark a line of showers and storms, a few of which may be on the stronger side. Looking ahead towards Saturday, most of the day is going to be dry. Best chance for storms afternoon and early evening. And if you live southeast of Toledo, that is where thunderstorms are the most likely to develop. It's going to be warm and humid feeling daybreak. It's already going to be 70 degrees for that morning visit to the Metro Park by the early afternoon. We'll be up in the mid 80s and the best window to see a shower or storm going to be in that 3 to 5 p.m. ballpark, but not going to be a washout and we should dry things out nicely for the evening out at barefoot at the beach. Partly sunny skies. Rain chances are on the lower end of the spectrum and temperatures will be in the low 80s weekend outlook Saturday. Not going to be a washout by any means. If there are any storms, I expect those southeast of Toledo. Now, you know how I mentioned that cold front. It's going to have a nice effect on our weather Sunday behind that front. We see a drop in humidity, a drop in temperatures and also the return of some of that beautiful August sunshine. As we start off the work week, rain chances return Monday. It is going to be a soggy and humid feeling day. Couple isolated thunder storms, but mostly just watching for wet and damp conditions. Tuesday, Wednesday, we bring back some beautiful weather with lower humidity levels. Our next storm chance will be Thursday, and we do turn a bit milder with August sunshine to round out that 10 day forecast.